I'm streaming now. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm streaming, it's so true. started. Uh, hello, all one of you. Uh, my name is Matt Rhodes, and I'm the lead designer at Stoic, and I'm going to be streaming the new Spider-Man game today. So, uh, just to give a little bit of kind of uh, context for this, um, Oh, okay. Well, that's too bad. Uh, what can you do, though? Um, this is pretty late in the game, so um, I'm not planning on doing any uh, story content, but there are going to be some spoilers for late in the Spider-Man game, if that's something that is worrisome to you. Uh, mostly I'm going to swing around. There's lots of dynamic content in the city, so we're going to do all kinds of fun, just sort of, uh, city missions and lots and lots of swinging, and, uh, I will show everyone just how terrible at combat I am, and it'll be fun. All kinds of fun. So, I think to start with, I'm going to take on one of these combat challenges and uh, just really embarrass myself right off the bat. That sounds like good. Yeah, it is an incredibly beautiful game. Um, and uh, so, the state of the city, you will see, is uh, pretty terrible at the moment. Um, it's one of the really cool the things about the game is the that the city is very dynamic. Um, it's, uh, it's really interesting that uh, they do a great job of constantly uh, updating the map, updating the uh, missions that you're going on. They really just sort of trickle it out over the course of the uh, over the course of the story, uh, which is really cool because they don't overwhelm you all at once. But uh, over time, you get the real sense that. Uh, uh, that the world is changing and adapting as kind of the as the uh, storyline advances. That was. Yuri, I ran across some Riker's inmates. They built a fort, way better than the ones I used to make out of sofa pillows. I just had a patrol car call. They tried to step in, but there were too many. And we don't have the manpower for reinforcements. Lucky for you, you've got Spider-Man power. Not bad, huh? I should have gone into advertising. Oh, I'm not doing very good. Snipers are hard.
I'm not very good at multitasking. I, uh, I should mention that probably. <laughs> uh, they got a. Uh, and I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember the actor's name, but they got a, uh, a professional voice actor to, to voice the character for. Uh, and this is a unique, uh, unique version. Oh, I'm so dead. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, they got their Spider-Man is a totally unique version. They've created their own mythology. They, uh, it is very much in keeping with the classic Spider-Man mythology, but they've done their own take on it, which is great. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, clearly, being sneaky is a much better way to do this. Okay. I mean, not kill because Spider-Man doesn't. Like yeah, you come around here. Something like killing that is Spidey contextually appropriate. Yuri Lowenthal. All right. Which is interesting because his. Uh, His buddy in this is a cop whose name is Yuri, so he's saying his own name all the time. Uh, Sweet dreams. So one of the uh, one of the cool things that they do. Is, this game is really, it feels very much like a, a mashup of, uh, of Spider-Man 2, which is a game that I worked on and am therefore pretty familiar with, and uh, the Batman Arkham games, and it is a combination that works incredibly well. Um, the combat is really fluid, you have these stealth moments that uh, that work really well, you know, a la the Batman series. Um, and, uh, and then you have the kind of classic physical swinging that, uh, that we developed in, uh, for Spidey 2 and that has been, uh, really, really well refined by them. This is a... Uh, I will be honest, I haven't played a Spider-Man game since the last one I worked on, which was Spider-Man 3. Um, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. Uh, and that was not a great movie, and it was sadly not a great game. Uh, but uh, this one is just astonishingly well done. I'm, I'm so impressed with it. Uh, I feel like they really got some of what made the swinging uh, now. interesting and, and cool in our game, and that a lot of games that came after that, from what I read about them, uh, you know, kind of missed the boat. I feel like even Spider-Man 3 really didn't deliver on the swinging experience that well. And the problem was, the swinging in Spider-Man 2, as good as it is, uh, has a lot of friction to it. It's, uh, it is really, really, uh, it's easy to have a bad experience when you're first learning. When you're first learning how to uh, swing around in Spider-Man 2, uh, you hit the ground a lot. You have just a lot of things that can go wrong. Um, and 
as a result of that, it often, especially when you're watching a, a new player play it, uh, can be not a lot of fun to watch. And, you know, there's some friction to it, for sure. You just really are never sure exactly what you're doing at the beginning. And, uh, once you get into it, it's really, 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 uh, oh boy. uh, it's, it's a really deep system, and, you know, that's why, to this day, I, I get great feedback from players about, uh, how they, uh, you know, can just spend hours swinging around the city, just not even doing anything. Um, because it's just so, you know, it really kind of captures that sense of flow, um, which is awesome. And, uh, one of the things I feel like, uh, Insomniac did extraordinarily well is they kind of evened out that early swinging experience, uh, more in inmates. a way that I'm does not, the only one not wearing orange. Uh, it does not dumb down the overall swinging experience. So it still has lots and lots of depth. Fits with what I heard. They want to take one over. But uh, be a lot easier it is so hard for me to talk and fight at the same time. I can't even tell I'm you guys. I'm working on it. Talk to uh, you soon. It's, uh, they did a great job of actually making, uh, the early experience still feel really like you can pretend you know what you're doing, while, uh, at the same time not losing the depth of the swing experience in the process. Uh, you know, uh, we're, someone mentioned, uh, uh, Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man. And I have to say, I did like Amazing Spider-Man. And I thought Andrew Garfield was, uh, was a good Peter Parker. Um, um, I did, I thought the second one was, uh, not, not a great movie. Uh, it was just, it was so clearly, you know, trying to do a lot of stuff that had nothing to do with the, the story in the second film. It was setting up all this, all these extraneous characters and all this other stuff that they, uh, that they wanted, to, you know, they had all these aspirations <laughs> uh, for what they were going to do with their Spider-Man universe. And, uh, it just, it was trying to do too many things. Um, and I feel like, uh, you know, killing Gwen Stacy was, it was something that happened in the comics. But it was always, I always felt a little bit like a mistake in the comics. Like, they shouldn't have done it. Uh... So to make the same mistake in the uh, in the movie, be just I don't know for the sake of authenticity of the comic or whatever their rationale was, uh, made me a little sad, I guess. Oof, I'm so sorry. Oh, and there. Yes. All right. Go me. Uh, so, <laughs> this thing that I'm trying to fight and not doing a great job at, this is a, uh, a, oh yeah, I so lost the fight. Um, this is a sort of a fortified area. Uh, we're at the stage in the story where uh, both the prison and the raft, which is where they hold all the superhuman uh, prisoners, 
have both experienced the big jailbreak, which is why uh, there's fire everywhere. So, uh, what this area is, is this is an area that the, uh, the escaped prisoners have set up as like a, a fortification for themselves. So they have sniper posts, and they have all these walkways between the buildings. Uh, from an engineering standpoint, I have no idea how they did that, but it's pretty cool looking. Uh, so yeah, they, <coughs> excuse me. They've set up all this stuff, and you have to just to to clear it because it's on the map here. You can see that it's a little area that they've set up. Uh, to clear it, you need to eliminate all the waves of. Uh, of bad guys that come at you. Um, and they do a number of these different types of uh, areas over the course of the game. They start out with uh, Wilson Fisk has these construction sites. Wilson Fisk is the kingpin, uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the character from the Marvel Comics. Um, so you start out going to his construction sites and clearing those out. And then there's uh, this second gang called the Demons demons set up warehouses that you go into oh I can't actually they're not on the map right now well in any case the demons have uh, the demons have warehouses that, that follow the same kind of uh, structure where you have to just clear them out by fighting waves and waves and waves and waves of guys uh, and then after the uh, after the jailbreak then uh then you have these prisoners as well. Uh, and yeah, the map, which I was looking at briefly here, the map really is impressive. I don't know what the scale is with the real New York, but the density of it is really very impressive. Um, and they have a lot of... They, they're doing a lot of the same things that we did in Spider-Man 2, so... Uh, you know, they have all these, uh, landmark buildings, uh, from the real New York, and then they also have, uh, lots of fun comic book stuff, like they have Avengers Tower, they have, uh, the Sanctum Sanctorum for Doctor Strange, they have the Wakandan Embassy, so they have all these really cool, uh, all these cool Marvel buildings in there as well. Uh, which is, uh, which is really fun. It's, uh, it's a nice, uh, additional touch. Uh, and again, it's very similar to what we did in Spidey 2. Um, sure. Uh, this is the map. So I'm in, at the south end of the island right now which is the financial district where all the tall buildings are. Uh, and this is the uh, prison camp. What? Oh, it's prisoner camp. That's what they call it. It's kind of weird because the prisoner camps are actually camps set up by the escaped prisoners as opposed to there are also these sable bases. Silver Sable is this, uh, she runs this mercenary force that's in, uh, is in New York as kind of a, an extra force, peacekeeping force, theoretically. And they also have bases that are actual prison camps, which is to say camps that they've set up to hold prisoners. Uh, so... It's a, the labeling is a little confusing, but this is a uh, this is a prisoner camp of freed or uh, escaped prisoners that uh, that I'm fighting. So anyway, let's take another shot at this and see what we can do. Who's there? Surprise! So definitely. Uh, definitely behooves you to uh, to stealth through a few of these guys at the start before uh, before trying to 
get into the melee of it. You're, you always have to get into the melee eventually. You can't take out one of these bases without doing some. <laughs> but make it a little easier for yourself if you at least clear out a few of these troublemakers before you oh, right. someone needs a nap So yes, there's definitely, uh, as I mentioned at the at the top of the uh, stream, there is definitely going to be uh, some spoilers. Even though I am not doing story missions, I'm just doing uh, ambient missions in the city. Uh, there is definitely uh, some spoilerness to. Lots and lots of really fun uh, physics objects that they've scattered around too, which is nice. And these things make noise and they can attract the attention of uh, guards. So some really nice set building that they've done. Um, yeah, it's all, and you can go to all those bridges too. It's it's really really. Very, uh, very impressive. Um, the city that they built is so dynamic. And that's the thing that I think, again, makes it so cool uh, that it's that as dynamic as it is, because it really feels like. Um, yeah, alright, well, we're fighting now. Uh, it's really cool to have things change as much as they do, given how detailed everything is. Um, because it really feels like even building the city once must have been an incredible amount of work. Uh, and to do it, you know, to do these multiple iterations of it. And the other thing is, they do not have a dynamic time of day, uh, but instead, they have... Uh, done bespoke lighting passes at multiple times a day, and then based on where you're at in the story, they will uh, they'll change the time of day. Uh, which you know ends up actually I think working really quite well. Uh, it lets them you know, bake-in lighting that looks really good at any time versus trying to come up with some sort of generic lighting pass that uh, Reinforcements. works okay, well sure. enough I don't need sleep. for uh, all of them. Um, and it also means that... Oh, okay, yes, right. You gotta listen to this make sense. Uh, So you have this focus meter uh, It's up in the upper left hand corner of the screen there. Uh, and that is something that you build up over time and it lets you do uh, finishing moves like this. Which are always extremely satisfying, I must say. I'm starting to feel weird being the only one not wearing orange. Tried to break into their buildings. Fits with what I heard. They want to take one over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street without hostages. Lots of fun stuff. To you. Talk oh, to you soon. Okay, right. Gotta pay attention to the guy. Rockets at me. Come on. Alright, well. I really need to take out the guy who should Hi. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, another guy shooting rockets at me. Stay your 
they get all these rocket launchers? This is grossly irresponsible armory management on the part of the NYPD. Get hit with one of those stun grenades. It's uh, it's. system is really good. It's a it's a lot it's a lot like the battle system in um, the Arkham games, which I also am terrible at. Uh, but it feels really good. It's one of those things where they introduce new enemy types over time, so you're constantly having a chance to uh, kind of acclimate to what they've already thrown at you before they start adding new things to the mix. Uh, and uh, it, it's tough but fair, you know, it's not the kind of thing where I've ever felt like they're just completely okay, cheating me. Really late. I'm uh, be a no -show with the exception of the, uh, they have these big enemies that are uh, kind of uh, extra, extra tough. Uh, and those guys... Oh, here's one. Hi. And he just, yeah, he takes, like, three swings at you in a row and knocks you down, and... Man. Nice. Oh, boy. That always makes me sad when I run into those guys. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Alright. I need to do something else because embarrassing myself in this uh, over and over again is is becoming humiliating. Uh, so let's get away from this and we'll, we'll do something else. I will... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure I can do it. It's, it's uh, as I say, the combat, it's tough, but it's totally, you know, it's totally fair. The challenges are not unreasonable, uh, but trying to do it while I'm talking to you all at the same time is... It's more than my feeble brain can actually in the financial district. Ten four, the safety Sierra. We are commencing our patrol route. So they, uh, I mean, this is fantastic. These, uh, some of these vistas that you get are just so cool. I love the skyline. Uh, and then you can, you know, dive off. Tricks in the air, which is something you could do in Spidey 2 as well. Um, and uh, in Spidey 2, what it did is it uh, it would give you back your spider sense meter, which let you slow down time. And what it does here is it actually builds up uh, focus, uh, which is what you use to do your finishing moves. Uh, 
allies, escaped convicts, and stolen vehicles are causing a major disturbance. Please proceed to Chelsea ASAP. One of the interesting things that they did uh, is, you know, there are a lot of uh, little changes about in terms of how they. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stop that vehicle. I gotta shut Let's this stop down. that vehicle. This vehicle's been recalled. Hi. And so have you. Bye. to get my license. Well, that in the web swinging. Yeah, so I'm currently uh, wanted, so the good guys, quote unquote, and the bad guys are uh, all kind of trying to take me out, which means that even stopping a crime potentially means uh, having to deal with a lot of extra heat coming down on me. This is stable control. What's our situation in Nomad? Checkpoint secure. Yeah, the writing in general is really, really good. Uh, I've been so impressed with the uh, characterizations, the overall story. Um, and it really does feel like Spider Man. You know, one of the great things about Spider Man as a video game character is that uh, he talks to himself all the time in the comics, and it just kind of works. And having him go through and narrate his adventures as he's doing it, oh, I really need to remember to do this, and I really need to do that, and wow, what's up with these guys, you know? He's sort of the perfect foil for a video game because he can constantly be drawing your attention to things, and uh, he can constantly be offering you reminders about what it is that he should be doing in the story right now. Uh, it just makes tons and tons of sense. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't end up feeling artificial, you know. And you don't need uh, extra voiceover. You don't need anything else except uh, Spidey talking to himself. Uh, And, uh, yeah, units. it's... Officer presence needed to subdue a riot. Reported location is near Lincoln. Over. A riot. Okay, we can stop a riot. That sounds like a good idea. So if you press in on the right stick, it shows you ambient stuff that's in the area. Uh, let's sort of take a peek. Come on, guys. Escape from prison, and that's the best thing you can think of to do? I hope we get out of the car. You guys must really miss the rap, huh? Because me, I'd be in Vegas by now. Show me what you got! Someone get him down here! Shields. That's a good idea.
They have a really nice upgrade tree too, which I really, really like. Um, I will show it to you a little bit. Uh, all these different suits that you can unlock, uh, including this is a great one. This looks like the cartoon suit. They have a they have a this great tune shader on it. It's really fantastic looking. Um, and a bunch of the suits have unique powers. Um, wow, this suit unlocks quips to insult your enemy's pride. I have no idea what that does, but I will definitely have to check it out at some point. Uh, maybe I will check it out now. Oh yeah, we're quipping. Uh, and then the, uh, this upgrade tree, you have three different courses, uh, three different uh, trees with multiple branches in them to unlock. Um, some of them, you, you get a, a skill point every time you level up, uh, and uh, over time, <clears throat> you know, you have some that require uh, multiple skill points to unlock. The one I'm trying to get right now is, is two, so I'm going to not get anything right now because I'm going to save up for it. Um, but, you know, he starts out pretty full-featured as a... As, as a character in terms of his player package, but uh, over time you definitely unlock some really fun additions. And they're all really familiar if you've, I've certainly, as someone who's played Spider-Man 2, look at that, that is fantastic. This is Stable Control, requesting a status update from Midtown North. Patrol, lighting on him is totally, any sign of tune lighting, it's just this Always showing up where they do the least good. Bring him down. Oh. Going in. Get behind him. Get clear. Americans were supposed to be abducted tourists. <laughs> so he literally, every time you press the power button, he does a quip. That's fantastic. I wonder how long it takes to reset. Well done. That makes it, what, a uh, hundred counts of assaulting a Sable agent? Staring. Don't tell me I have battle damage, but <laughs> all right. Well, this is officially my favorite power. We're all billionaire playboys. Why, movies? Why do you hate me? <laughs> they clearly had a lot of fun with the writing on this. Not only uh, is the writing on Spider-Man himself great, and the you know the scenes and everything are great. Um, there's a Stan Lee cameo in the game, uh, which is honestly, I think. Possibly the best Stanley cameo I've ever seen. Uh, it literally brought tears to my eyes. Uh, and this is before uh, Stanley uh, died. I mean, it was just so pitch perfect. Uh, it was really, it's really a super emotional uh, moment in the game, which is fantastic. All units, 1043, uh, transport is taking 
taking fire. And uh, and then there's all this extra stuff that they've added. Like, uh, let me show you this real quick. This is amazing. Uh, there's a fake Twitter feed, and uh, they just there's all these people just sort of randomly. You know, complaining about how Spider-Man made them late for work and stuff, or or talking about how much they they love him, mixed in with uh, all these uh, cool uh, mentions of the things that you've been doing directly in the game. So whatever uh, whatever missions or things you just completed. There will be tweets about those things. Like, I just saw Spider-Man beat up a bunch of Sable agents on the, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it's so it it actually has some utility because it helps you remember where you are in the story if you take a couple of days before you come back to it. And then a lot of it is super entertaining. I, I mean, obviously, there's some recycling because. They couldn't write an infinite amount, but everything that's there is really, really good, um, which is fantastic. And I don't know if that's the actual weather or if that's the in-game weather. <laughs> I assume it's the in-game weather because this takes place right around uh, early, late October, early November. Is where the when the game is set because uh, you actually attend a uh, a Halloween party in your Spider-Man costume, of course. Uh, so yeah, that sort of sets the the time period that you're in, uh, and that's about right for the weather in late October if you uh, if you got lucky in New York. It's not it hasn't gotten really cold yet. And Spidey can swim. Ten thirteen, immediate backup not requested. All natural state, but uh, incident is ongoing in the water facility. too. And that water is fantastic. Uh, okay, here's another crime. Harry needs my help. Better head to a vantage point and call her. Sniper rifles. Not a good combo. Not a good combo. You're right, Spidey. Fight, fight, fight. How come no one ever challenges me to a rap battle? Yeah, so getting into a big fight with a lot of crossfire, definitely challenging. All the loading screens are have a dynamic character. 
Really? You put me back here, guys? Okay, alright. This is cool. Control. Need a sit rep for the Civic Center. A group of civilian agitators has been detained. Charges will be issued as needed. Alright, what am I gonna do here? What am I going to do? Staple mass arrest. Okay, let's check that out. That'll be something that doesn't involve me trying to take out this prisoner camp. Right? I really do love swinging around. They've done a great job. Uh, really. Strong arming civilians is not gonna fly in my town. Come on! Demons and escaped prisoners on the loose, and you're arresting protesters? I haven't seen rocket pack guys before. This is exciting and new. Uh, appearances as in uh, costumes for Spidey? Uh, there are a bajillion of them. Uh, so this is the sort of the official suit. Uh, here's the battle damage kind of classic suit. This is what you start out in. Uh, the unbattle damage version. This is the uh, Spider-Man Noir suit. This is the uh, Scarlet Spider Ben Riley suit from the comics. This is uh, Armored suit, which looks more like, this looks totally like one of the Tron suits, doesn't it? From the, new, the newer Tron movie. I am probably embarrassing myself by saying that, but I, I like the new Tron movie, new-ish. Uh, Secret War Suit. I don't, I'm not familiar with this one. I don't know if uh, this is what they used because they couldn't, didn't have the rights to the uh, symbiote suit, but uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, this is the Homecoming suit from the movie. Uh, this is an inverted negative suit. There's a there's a villain named Mr. Negative, which is he's one of the guys that you fight in uh, this game. And I guess they had the shader, so why not make a suit for it? Uh, another specialty suit, electrically insulated. It says I don't know. Good old Spider Punk. I don't have any idea what the origins of this character are, I have to admit, but uh, it's fantastic. Uh, wrestler suit? Oh, this is uh, this is an homage to the suit that he created for himself uh, when he fought uh, the wrestler at the very beginning, before Uncle Ben even dies. Spoiler, Spider-Man... Uh, Spider Got his powers, he tried to make money, Uncle Ben died. Uh, this is Fear Itself suit. So that may be another uh, comic book reference I'm not familiar with. Uh, stealth suit. Another armor suit. This is the 2099 Spider-Man. This is the Iron Spider armor from the uh, Infinity Wars film, or at least inspired by it. And actually, the power is the uh, the arms coming out, which is freaking awesome. Uh, another, I don't know, the Velocity suit, what that is. Uh, another armor suit. This one is freaking cool looking. Uh, 
Ghost Rider <laughs> as Spider-Man. I don't. Uh, I assume that there's a, a, a comic book reference that they're making here because I can't imagine why that would be here otherwise. But I'm not familiar with it. And then uh, another 2099 suit, the uh, cartoon suit, which we already saw. This is his original suit from the. Uh, movies from the Marvel movies. Hi Zeb. Uh, and then a couple that I have not yet unlocked. Uh, some of these are from DLC that uh, I guess I'll get them when uh, when I get up to the DLC. This one, uh, uh, Black Cat gave me this. This is what I was wearing up until I switched to the cartoon suit. Uh, so like that. Oh, and I think I have two skill points now. So I'm gonna get this. No, I still only have one skill point. I'm a sad panda. All right. Uh, let's see. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes to Calling horribly die in Traffic battles that I'm here. not equipped to handle while I try and stream at the same time. It's cool. Yeah, I need to learn to play for sure. Help. I need to help. Oh, someone's shooting at me. See, this has become so much more dangerous. I'm just shooting at me. Great news! The tenth time I put you away, the beating is great! <laughs> Used to be, you could go out, just have a nice time. Now it's like trying to gun you down all the time. It's terrible. What is this world coming to? That's your day. Whew, that was actually a nice break. Thanks. I haven't used any of my gadgets. I should use gadgets. Those are great. Hopefully they'd help me uh, win a little bit too. I do like winning. This is Control. Need a what? set rep for the Civic Center. Observation uh, post is live. This is scanning for Spider-Man. The neighborhood just got a little less friendly. Maybe I can dismantle this outpost before they have a chance to call for backup. <laughs> Suits riding up again. I knew I should have gone with sweatpants. <laughs> oh, the quick power I will never ever get old. specific special case and it is both humbling and Lost astonishing it. gotta be more careful that they uh, that they put in quite so many completely unique animations um, but it totally sells the moment very observant uh, Sable has certainly made swinging through New York more exciting. 
Also, more life threatening. Guy, I webbed to the side of a thing. I love doing that. All right. So I guess we're just about just about done. So uh, yes, thank you very much, everyone who has been uh, watching. Uh, I uh, I've definitely enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully you all have enjoyed it as well. I'm going to uh, just swing around a little more and uh, call it. Uh, it is a really just a requesting game, from I have to say. Uh, I mean, we are commencing our patrol. I, Weapons free. Clear I guess engage. it's worth noting that this is actually I bought a PlayStation 4 just so I could play this game. Uh, that's that's how excited I was that it was coming out, and uh, I have to say, it was totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. It is a really great game. If you like open world games, if you liked Spider-Man 2, if you like... Uh, I did not buy the Spider-Man specific PS4, no. But, uh... All units. But All I, I did get it just so that Officers I could play it when it came report. out. I, uh... I pre-ordered the game and I bought a PS4 so that I would be able to play it as soon as it and I did, and I was happy. Alright, I will go to the top of the Empire State Building and uh Too slow. And then I'm gonna call it. Empire State Building, where are you? I think the Empire State Building's in Midtown, actually. Most of the tall buildings are... Times Square. Oh, Empire State Building. Right. I have to go there anyway, as it turns out. That's gonna start a story mission, though. I'm not gonna go there, because it's gonna start a story mission. Uh, I'm not on it. That's... I'm very close to it. I'm like right next to it. I will, I will eyeball the uh, the uh, Empire State Building. Though. That's what I'll do. There it is, Empire State Building, right there. All units. Big as life. My station is being raided by Raft escapees. Any officers in Nomad, please respond. All right, I think that's a good place to call it. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, I will see you again sometime, maybe. Bye. And now I need to figure out how to stop. I can't stop.